So I found another vintage pair of Reebok and this time is blocked off. Hey guys, welcome back to Kicks Reasons channel. Today we are looking at this beautiful early 90s pair of Reebok black top. Unfortunately, I don't know the name. I try to search everywhere through my catalogs, through online. I even reach out to some people at Reebok. Unfortunately, I didn't get an answer. So I'm not really sure what is the name of this model. And if any of you knows, please let me know uh, so I can update the video. But regardless, we're going to talk about this uh, beautiful model that I personally think came around 93, 94. Why am I thinking this? Just by some of the design cues that are on this model and uh, some of the things I've seen uh, like repetitively on other pairs that I'm going to point out to you. Um, and the one major thing is the hexalite, which is uh, not the one close to the ground above the outsole, but rather on top of the midsole sitting right underneath your heel. Uh, I was so glad when Reebok changed the hexalite and moved it from the bottom to the top of the midsole where exactly is more responsive, more comfortable, and you can actually feel it better when it sits underneath your heel. Uh, this pair came around that time, like I said, in several different colorways, and I've seen one of the other colorways, which is kind of like white with uh, green accents, green uh, vector. Uh, but this black one, I always like more. Unfortunately, both were made uh, with the synthetic uh, materials, synthetic new book, synthetic mesh. There's another material that kind of resembles uh, new book, but it's not, it's more like a thinner uh, mesh. You gotta see it uh, on my close-ups. Uh, kind of looks like it's perforated on the inside for better breathability and i'm actually surprised that uh, these are fairly well preserved normally this kind of an old new book it's cracked crumbled peels off when you rub it with your fingers kind of leaves that black residue and this one does not which is great and one of the other major key features of this model is the rubberized toe box and you'll see it again on my close-ups as well uh, this toe cap kind of provides protection when you play outside, people step on your toes or, you're, you know, kicking the, the pavement around. So you're not going to be uh, scuffing the material. So that rubberized toe was great. Surprisingly, these are very comfortable even today. I can feel the hexalite. I put them on feet. Um, they're not completely wearable, as I mentioned, but you're still going to see them on feet and you'll see how they look. Uh, in my opinion, they look outstanding, very classic. And this giant kind of a massive old school blacked up logo in the back makes the whole thing with that exaggerated outsole wrapping around the hill and kind of copying it creating this effect like the hill cup is on the outside with the black top i really like that and same exact logo is of course on the tone like a lot of the shoes from the time and one more one more thing is the back of the puffy tone logo and label which is also the black top with the graphic of the basketball player this one was featured on a lot of other early 91 92 uh, black top models uh, of course these are my size eight and a half when i saw them how they look uh, the way they were preserved i immediately jumped on them and one interesting thing is the insole these insoles were supplied in a lot of the models of the time uh, and one of the best things is in the bottom of it they kind of mimic the hexalite. You'll see the hexagonal patterns. Uh, they're kind of thick. Um, not sure what kind of compound. It's not fully polyurethane because they're not crumbled uh, like a lot of those uh, questions are from the time, but they're very anatomically correct with extra support right here on your arch, very thick or perforated on the toes area to kind of provide a little bit better breathability and uh, very thick. I mean, this is a nice insole. You've probably seen it in some of my other older videos I have on other models. Uh, very comfortable, very comfortable insole and it's correct size eight and a half. Uh, sometimes the companies create one size like eight and nine between the eight, eight and a half and nine. This one goes for every single half. And on the inside, we have Reebok and Blacktop logos. Very, very nice. I absolutely love this model. I wish that it was made in genuine leather, like the early uh, 90s Blacktop models, because I would have worn them with no problem. Um, it interestingly enough, I don't see any sole separation, but I guess, I guess these were never worn. And on the bottom, you'll see they're never worn. We have the Reebok logo and these white elements in the front. The rest of it is the hexalite in the back and kind of separated 
uh, outsoles with hard rubber and the metal you can see the polylite which is still very soft and very nice and very responsive and this lateral side vector logo stitched in very nice and classy again i really like how this shoe looks uh, really love the back of it. It's unique and that, that was one of the things about Reebok at the time They were creating a lot of unique sneakers One of the reasons I absolutely love them because if you look at the line of Nike or in some other models at the time They're very similar to each other. They look very similar where Reebok always had something different to offer uh, and these were definitely different for the time uh, Both of them are really nice the padding around the hill and the ton is outstanding just like any other 90s uh, shoe very very nice and thick super comfortable hexalite is super clear on the bottom like I've never seen the Sun uh, very soft uh, and this is one of the things I love back in the day going to the stores picking up the shoe and just pressing on the hexalite right away <laughs> to see how responsive and nice it is uh, but yeah uh, these are these are definitely uh, something great for the collection I was a huge fan of the black top line hence my vintage black top shirt that I've owned since the 90s of course I have tons of those but the black top line was something unique something different at the time and nobody had anything even closely remotely uh, similar to them they had a huge line of clothing that everybody wanted to have uh, all kinds of accessories and obviously uh, beautiful shoes for outdoors hoops like these which again everybody uh, absolutely loved because they were indestructible at the time and playing basketball outside was very popular so yeah that's pretty much it guys i have a lot more to show you more vintage pairs coming to the channel uh hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new and as always guys you have a wonderful day